We're learning not only what people share, but why they share and how the items they share influence their perceptions, attitudes and behaviour. Here to talk about these patterns of behaviour and why we're seeing it is the greatest creative opportunity of our generation, please welcome Paul Adams, Global Head of Brand Design at Facebook and the author of Groot. I'm very excited to talk to you guys today. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about some really big shifts that we're seeing. Um, and I feel like uh, this is, there's, there's never going to, you know, this time that we have right now and this audience is never going to be more important. So this looks like a map of the world, um, but it's actually not. It's a map of all of the friend connections on Facebook. So all the lines are, are people connected to other people. And it's incredible because you can see, you can see the scale, right? It actually forms the countries, the, the borders of countries. Um, and it's pretty interesting because if you look at this, you know, there's 900 million, over 900 million uh, active users of Facebook. On any given day, over 500 million people are on the platform. And so it's just this amazing creative, um, creative opportunity. My background is in design. Um, and so and for me, it's, just, it's an incredible uh, uh, platform. And I want to talk to you guys about these opportunities. So if you look, this is really interesting. If you look back at the history of media technologies and the history, you know, if you look back at the early, one of the earliest media technologies, the alphabet, the internet is incredibly new. It is an incredibly new technology. It is 20 years old. And so for us, if you, if you oh, my clicker isn't working. All right. If you look at this, the first, the first 20 years of the web were basically built around content. Um, you know, websites, destinations, things for people to visit. And we see this, not just us, right? That, what I'm going to talk about today is not just about Facebook, it's much bigger than that. Um, it's basically beta, right? All of the media technologies that we've seen take decades to stabilize, right? Newspapers, pr you know, print, they take decades. TV took decades to stabilize. So the first version of the web is beta. I feel so much more relieved, by the way. The second version of the web is built around people. And it's basically every time you visit a website and visit a web page, you bring with you your friends, your interests, and your friends' interests. And that fundamentally changes the experience. It makes it far, far better. You're wondering when it's going to stop. <laughs> it's incomprehensible. I have no idea what's in all those books. It's just, it's mind boggling. And, um, you know, obviously, I got this information from Wikipedia because there's nowhere else I would get it. This is pretty old. This, this, this uh, chart's from 2010. And we're adding about 1,000 new articles to Wikipedia every single day. 1,000 new articles every single day on top of all of the edits that are to existing articles. That is just phenomenal. I, I can't even get my head around that. So I just want to recap. We live in groups. We talk to people like us and we are, we, we are in an invisible network. So that's a lot of stuff. There's transformational change happening, and I can't underestimate how big this change is. It really is, you know, I feel, and a lot of other people that I talk to feel, it is the biggest shift since the Industrial Revolution. The invention of the internet, because it's permeating everything, is unprecedented, and it's been built around people, and we need to understand social behavior. So this is very high level and, and pretty abstract. So I want to finish by giving you guys some really concrete principles to take away. And if you remember anything from this talk, aside from the, begin the bit at the beginning where I left the stage, if you remember anything, don't remember that. Uh, remember these principles. People have come here, the people who pushed the boundaries of print, the people who pushed the boundaries of TV, came and sat in these rooms and were inspired. And what I want you guys to think about is some people here are going to look at the stuff I'm talking about, look at these transformational changes to society because of mobile, because of social, right? because of the mobile and social web, which will just be the web. They're going to see these things. They're going to see the things that I've talked about, the fact that the web is being rebuilt around people, the fact that this social web is permeating everywhere and everything. The fact that all this information will be accessible no matter where we are in the world, that is going to change things. And there are some people in this room who will embrace it and go on to build incredible things. So my final word for you guys is to look around and make sure that the person who does this, the person who, who, who believes in this, buys into it and goes on to create the most amazing creative things of our generation, make sure that it is you and not just your neighbor. 
Thank you.